Good morning, Zeo here, and uh, today is the conclusion of Apple versus Epic, or at least this part of it. So, grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, and let's get into it, shall we? And before we get into that, if you didn't know, I had a TikTok that I can't seem to bring up for some reason. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what's going on. Like, I can go to the For You page, it looks like, but I can't actually go to my profile. Nothing seems to show up, so maybe I got banned and didn't even realize it. And I'm not sure how I managed it, because I didn't do anything bad yet. Anyway. Yeah, so... Epic versus Apple. Here we go. Um, as uh, last time we spoke about this, Epic had sued Apple. And uh, the reason they sued Apple was for, uh, uh, what was it, unfair business practices or something? Gosh, wow. I, I knew this. Anyway, they produced this commercial thingy here and, and all this other stuff. And... Um, the long and the short of it is, Epic violated Apple's terms of service. Apple then removed Fortnite from their services uh, from the App Store. And Epic launched this campaign immediately afterwards, and they went to court over it. And this has been a battle that has been a year in the making. And it has finally concluded to both of them losing, kind of. Um, honestly, in my opinion, Epic won this battle. Um, they took the casualties that they knew they were going to take, and uh, Apple is the loser in it. But uh, anyway, so that is so not the right thing. <laughs> not the right tab at all. <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, yeah. So, um, here we go, the conclusion to Apple's unfair monopolizing of the App Store in space on the iOS and its in-app per per the purchasing systems. Um, <clears throat> a judge did conclude that that was indeed happening. Uh, they also concluded that Epic had to pay for damages for violating the developer's agreement with Fortnite. So, apparently, from... Uh, what I have seen, they have apparently, uh, they got, what was it, around 12, 13 million, something like that, in the month of operation that Epic had launched its own separate store from the Apple store um, on Fortnite, and they, of course, have to pay, I think, what was it, 20, 30% of that to uh, Apple, which I'm sure they knew they were going to have to anyway, because they did purposely violate that agreement to even do this. However, now Apple has to um well apple can't tell a developer they can't put their own storefront on there now they also cannot tell these developers that if they do have their own storefront they can't advertise it either uh, so that part of the policy has to be rewritten and redone or completely removed uh, however apple doesn't have to let fortnite back onto the app store since I don't have an Apple device to even check if it's on there or not, um, they don't have to let Fortnite come back. It's, uh, it's as simple as that. They may have. I don't know. It may be more lucrative to have uh, Fortnite on there, even if Epic is pushing their own store. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to go here. Both of them lost in their own way. However, Epic lost in the way that they knew they were already going to lose, and I'm sure they put that off to the side already, going, yeah, we're going to have to pay them back for this. But at the same time, all the other developers out there have essentially won through Epic, you know, doing this. So it's a good thing. Uh, if you want to develop for the iStore, iStore, the iStore, the Apple, whatever it is. Anyway, <laughs> the Apple Store. You know, you're more than welcome to do that. You can now, of course, put in your own storefront and stuff like that without using Apple Pay and all that stuff. So Apple doesn't have to take that 30% cut from you. Um, 
but yeah, that that's apparently what what has gone down. It's not a whole lot to it. So um, sorry for the video being so late today. Tomorrow's should be actually out pretty early because I'll be at work at that point. Uh, it's just been a lot going on here these past few days that I've been off and haven't really. It's been hard to sit down and get a chance to do anything. So let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will talk to you later. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.